Hello, this is New Age Ja here with you, and I'm happy to be here. Now, I'm understanding that in order to be a vessel for the Divine Holy Spirit, one must show up. And sometimes it's hard to just show up if you do not know exactly what is going to come through. At least for me, that's what I experience as a channel, right? Having, let's say, let's blame it on the Virgo moon. Okay, let's blame it on the Virgo moon trying Saturn. I like to know kind of ahead of time so that I could be prepared for certain things. And not that I like to rehearse things, but I kind of just want to have a feel, an understanding. At this time, right, I have a few things here. I have my tarot cards, I have some crystals, I have a book about energetic boundaries, also a book on parenting, okay? I am a mother of two girls, ages five and one, soon to be two and six. I am of the generation Pluto and Scorpio. I am amongst my Saturn return. Okay, I'm 28 years old. I am amongst my Saturn return. I am a mother of two. I have an 11th house cancer stellium. I am a hairstylist, a hairdresser, Leo rising, Taurus midheaven, Venus in the 10th. Um, I have Aries in the ninth house, Mars in Aries in the ninth house. Mm, yep, and I have Natal, Saturn, and Capricorn. Just so that you guys have an idea of who I am in terms of astrology, if those things help you to understand this vessel in particular. Do I look pretty uh, Leo rising to you? My south node is in Leo, so I have to like be super tempered with the whole eagle thing. <laughs> so it's like imagine being a Leo rising with your south node there. That's like um a buzz kill in a sense, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, but it's extremely humbling and balancing and I recognize that my karma shows up quickly and I've learned to understand that and accept that and maintain a balance of identity. Slowing Right, Mars and Aries can move so fast, and it's so hard to get it to slow down. But once it slows down, it exerted more energy slowing down than what it did moving forward. So at this point, with Mars retrograde, I'm sure a lot of us feel physically exhausted, physically tired and drained only because you are trying to cool down the jets, slow them down, and it's it's exerting a lot from you. It's taking a lot out of you. It's especially requiring that you become humble and say, yo, slow down. You got to check this out. Universe is trying to say something to you. Regroup. Holy moly. And the thing about Mars is it doesn't like to be retrograde. It's quite obvious why it doesn't 
like to be retrograde. It's more exhausting on it. Other planets may feel relieved, right? Like Jupiter, because it's so huge and moving forward is like a task. It's like it's moving a lot of energy, right? So, now for it to just like kind of like chill and slow down is good and it's beneficial for all of us because Jupiter can be a little bit over the top. Again, once that momentum gets going, oh, okay, talk about slowing down a train. How many of us are recognizing where our weaknesses fall or where our weaknesses are in regards to our healing abilities or where our weaknesses, you know, come up in regards to our superpowers and how we use them and how we apply balance and structure, acknowledgement. Honoring the self is always of importance, right? You know what I'm saying? If you haven't created the highest picture of yourself, if you haven't envisioned the highest you, the highest being, how is it that you can expect you, yourself to mold into this magically without you yet first creating the mold? And a lot of us may fear creating a mold for the ex paranoia that one may not be able to reshift or change. The idea is understanding that although a state may feel permanent, it is still susceptible to change. I, for one, have, am feeling as if the Lilith energy within me has awakened or is awakening. But I do feel in control enough to embody this aspect of the goddess, this aspect of goddess, the aspect of my goddess. Mundane reality is exactly that. But just because one chooses to be less aware, does it mean that you're living wrong? Just because, and that's where I find it to be extremely controversial when it comes to oh, being awakened, yet being asleep, but living a righteous, but somewhat conscious life. What happens to those who are just kind of like in between, in the middle? Hmm. Do they just get to ride the wave and then next thing you know, they're just kind of out to shore and life has just continued to go. I, I 
think that's it. So yeah, good luck. Enjoy your time. Slow down. Recognize. Make any adjustments that need to be adjusted. Also, pay attention to where your integrity is being tested in regards to your self-worth and value. Up until now, you have discovered or at least have applied somewhat of a value to yourself or your service, services. Okay, and something may come to you and confuse you that seems just as valuable or maybe even perhaps valuable at this time. And it's up to you to recognize and understand that the time and money and space and thought that you have invested in yourself is still valuable and is of value and will continue to grow as much as you feed it, okay? So... Are you going to allow yourself to be distracted and go another route that might seem a bit attractive or stick to your guns and learn to apply value to your own self and being and understand and recognize why you even chose to go on this path to begin with? Okay, so what are you going to choose? I mean, both offers seem beautiful. Both offers seem valuable. Both offers seem of worth, right? So do you, is it quitting on yourself, taking this opportunity that kind of takes you away from your initial project? It seems good. It seems promising. Okay, but I've been fighting for this path of my own. I've been fighting for this freedom. I've been fighting for this opportunity to work for myself, to claim myself, and to offer myself, okay, in a respectable manner, in fashion, okay, and that is fair and equal to all, okay? What is fair nowadays and how real is real? Trusting in yourself is understanding and trusting that there is a higher power and spirit and being that governs every single one of us. And even though we may feel that there are other avenues to achieve the spirit and love of God, one must always remember that you can absolutely go directly to the heavenly divine father spirit source water agua earth feminine negative positive masculine energy at all times one can go extremely direct with the heavenly divine holy spirit at any given time upon choice and you do not have to go through any route, spirit, being, entity, symbol. You don't, there's no absolutely, no way that you have to, okay? We do understand and recognize that we are each trying to create a specific mold. And in order to create an individual or unique mold one must create individual and unique structures and energy signatures in order to adapt and adjust and create and mold right it's going to be different for everyone okay how you mold and adjust yourself is individual to your unique self Understanding and learning how to hear yourself, how to recognize yourself, how to honor yourself, how to respect yourself, how to communicate with yourself, okay? Once you learn how to respect yourself, communicate with yourself, and look at yourself and understand that you are a being and that no one outside of you should make you feel any type of way other than what you have implemented for yourself, 
So understand that if you are feeling some type of way right now, the feeling has been implemented and invoked by the self. Okay, because you are experiencing it, not I. I can experience it if I choose to empathize with you. And at this time, I am empathizing with you, but I also recognize that we are of separate individual beings, ultimately connected to a higher power. So we are equal. I understand that. We are equal. I hope you understand that. But that doesn't mean that I am of your energetic code. Thank you, Heavenly Divine Father and Spirit, for you are the one that I serve, for you are the one that I connect with. For you, Heavenly Divine Father and Spirit, I serve as a de divinely humble vessel in your name, Creator, connected with Mother Earth Gaia, right, Lord, because you made me of this energy you made me of this source this body i honor it i thank you heavenly god father thank you lord jesus because i do worship you i do love you thank you all for tuning in and if you have any questions or just like you know you want to share something with me feel free to do so I will leave my email somewhere in the comment sections and I will be around to say hi or, you know, respond or just kind of read and see what uh, type of response all of this invokes. Okay, love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.